Atlan girls cheese the cut you han, Shukraya, Wuchin, you had to get a data way, data tin nexa haya tea. Was sink it had to was a cook and a hurry to shugugu. One conins it eek, I a haji yeti. Kirne han a cow and nick one conins. Two oya kesh ha jeet uk eat has to you at hungi. Ye awa achtu was a good co a shifty day in aya, would you knew a tooth at key? Ye got what teeth to cut you hand, ye hoji, conachoe, ye hoji, ye got ye clarke, yes to cut you hand, ya ha you a tongue ye. Ya hana, got dach away, ha ye genee. Shukwa aya, we dis. Was that do us up just to cut dis? Ka jaguk sa ye iti kwan kanins jagut ye de aya wutu asa ye wutu asa we dis ya yidat hin ta nach disi ya tlekhegi ya wakhi ya dis ya itcha eka kayani disi ya hin ta nach kayani disi kwas Ya sing it at high, conachoe, cone. Ha ani de awa has has yak qua ah, we yao. Yao aya, quash cone aya has a shuk. Eka away, ye stalk yak yeti. Ye away, quash sing it on the tani ye yeti. Ye go aya once to cut you han. One can in so how the hut. Got her to us a goo. Kill the shit aya, kill to the shit away, ya ha ye jinny. It was a good quotico a you han. Wooch in, wooch in ye jigger to ne. Ka wooch gin to shut, ya ye dat. Ye away ye gar to dark. One cunny in the dark you took the tan. Ya clean yah ye tea, sing get you a tongue. A yak the way to the cut to horn. Cosconne a ya eat you the hut. E dig a to the she. A car away just go, go, eat sa, eat sa. Hail for sucker, got he. Got hush, hush a good ha. A car test just plain a higher ye a got he. Ew after was a goo ye so cool, ya ye dat. Jawai ti ye kwasadati u de tan kwas kleshyak kwatak. E kako ak tuasugu yi saku wu hashi ko has kodakhawe hasi tuasugu ya yi daki. Kashi nakaya kaktu art. Wujin hasati ya yi dat. Wujin hagusati sekan. Yewe akhtundatani kak tuasugu yi aki ya yi dat. A eighty ass and lick ark. Conachoe got to saw. Ya, Acho are away, oh han, high age nay. What just no dark cut yan got to tea? A car a dark got to art. Miss Jayako Genki girl. A two yak echo are, which in has a tea, ya ye dat. You got to dark wooch in. As we get back into things, we uh, spent some time just talking about what we need to succeed in Tlingit. And I just want to say, have strength and courage. It's really getting into the icy water sometimes. You know, there was an elder, she used to call me. Her name was Shkate Jesse Johnny. Sometimes she, she knew what time I taught this class. She'd call me a half hour before, just talking, you know, just, really can get me fired up to say it's like it's like y'all are going into the icy waters so I need to give you some encouragement but I really want everyone to know that uh, I really cherish every one of you and the work that you're doing and the commitment that you show I think uh, sometimes we might feel like we're not gonna succeed 
the way that Nora explained it, she says sometimes it's like the language just gets stuck in your hands. You can't pry it out yet. Yeah. But my my wish is that it flows easily through your mouths. And I do think every one of you is going to reach a point where that happens. But Shkate also used to tell me that our language is like a big canoe. And so we're in the canoe, and so maybe your hands are going to start to get tired, and we'll just say, it's okay, take a rest. Yes, there's enough of us. Just don't get, you know, we just don't want anybody to get lost and just drift on out to sea. And so I also wanted to say, we're not going to leave you behind. So even if we have, you know, I, I read something today, and maybe it was fitting. Someone said, if you're taking a walk with someone, and you end up having to wait for them to catch up, don't start walking right away because you got a chance to stand there and rest while they caught up to you. And think about that throughout your whole life. And I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, you know. So um, every now and then we li I like to do just check-ins with learners and just see how things are going. Sometimes we've got to shift directions because we start to get exhausted with certain things. So we've been working on this uh, but we're gonna take a we're gonna take a break from that, and then we got spring break next week. Take a rest, and uh, and so I thought we'd talk about months. We were having a conversation about that. There's a section in Chengit Inachsa that talks about hunting and fishing and tides and water. We're gonna take a look at that, and then we're gonna do a little fun exercise called. I think it's called frog story or something, kitten story? No, mouse story. That's it. Can't remember what animal it was. But we'll see how we do on time, because we might kick that over to tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how it goes, because we got other ones of these little stories that we work on. So, uh, let's see. The months. Do we want to do the months? Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. So I just, there was a couple of calendars that have been published. I think one in, from Cake. Um, and there was a, like the Think It Moon and Stars book that was from Sitka. And then I took the interior Think It dictionary and kind of merged all those to compare them. And some of them I don't have translations for. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure why those ones are in red. I did this a year or so, a couple of years ago. But I was figuring that there's probably other ones out there. And I thought I would compile it all into a spreadsheet. Jeez. Well, let's start on uh, maybe January. Okay. So we go Awak Disi, which is the geese month. Seek Disi, black bear month. Hinta Nach Kayani Disi. Can you folks see how that one works now? Ta Nach. What's the Ta Nach part? Under through. Yeah, so ta so talk is the bottom of a cavity, underwater, uh, the bottom of a canyon or something. But the K can fall off if if you get a suffix on there. So you wouldn't say talk nach, you'd say ta nach. So ta nach could mean through the under the water. Uh, but then you got heen ta nach kayani. It's underwater plants. And then uh, you get, what what month are you starting with now? Uh, so we did oh sorry. Awak is January. Sik is February. Can we, can we develop our own? 
Uh, start in January. Okay. Well, maybe the new year starts with Hin Tanach Kayani Disi, which would be this month. <laughs> and so, uh, because mid to late March is when the herring spawn. That seems to be when everything really starts to wake up in terms of the new foods. So, I always thought a Shingid calendar should revolve around working on foods, probably. Yeah, I did too. But I think the the first fruits that we used to go for was uh, suck. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, well. As far as I know, it came before uh, before having eggs. I disappointed a lot of people when I announced that. Things. Oh, so that's March. For the herring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then April. That's, a, that's what I remember because it, it was always such a big celebration for us because it's like the first picnic of the year to, to go and do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah wow. Well. Goodness, cheesh. Uh, April, we have Eka Kayani Disi, so true plant month. Uh, but you also have which is, uh, it's crusty, the ground, the area is crusty. And Sashki Disi, which I do think is the ground squirrel. Uh, Sashk, so that letter A, uh, uh, quite commonly becomes an E in car cross. So they'll say, Kit Hes, and they'll say, he and that's pretty common that you'll hear that up there. It's influenced by Tagish, probably. Atkatachit uh, yinadisi is May. Katachit is for animals to reproduce. So it means breeding. Uh, there's also in the interiors, some people will call it Kayani Disi. Uh, the yina means it's going in that direction, right? So this, keep an eye out for this yina or niya. It is all over the place. And mm -hmm. it's usually in the area of, or sometimes shielding or blocking. So for example, hun is the north wind. Huniya is the shielding <coughs> from the north wind. And that's where you get huna. It's also in Nanya Ayi, Sanya, Hinya, <coughs> a bunch of place names. Then you have Atkatachit Disi, the, the breeding month. Uh, and Tauk Itit Disi would be the remnants of winter month or the spring month. Itit Disi. Mm, I don't know about Ayakhandisi. Khawak. I'd have to go look at those. <coughs> July Khadisi Fish Month. Fish month. Uh Disi is um Khaw is hair and Ak is for it to get lost or to get removed basically which is probably my essence to do awak as well I'd like to see august sha khayi disi or tek disi sha khayi is like a the shadow of the mountain i think is um berries underline Ach Disi is a ground, well, I guess it's a marmot. It's the, I guess that's another word for it too, but it's the whistler, the hoary, what do they call it, hoary marmot? Hoary marmot. So how do the Sha Hei work? So mountain shadows, but there was another word for shadows, wasn't there? Yeah, like Yehai or um, Chich. So how is the Hei? 
Hey, let's see if I have it somewhere. Mm -hmm. ah. Does that refer to the fact that the days are getting shorter so there are more shadows? Could be. <clears throat> it is, okay. I'll grab the screen share from you for a sec. So it is shadow cast by a mountain and the he is comes from a word which is also he uh, which is the dusk so it's the opposite of he so you got he a he a and so he a is how the day starts he a is how the day ends so he a is talking about the dawn and the he a is talking about the dusk and that's where you get Chana, um, you usually don't see it maybe as often, but you you do have it here. Sha he yi. So it really means like the, and I think it's because the sun starts to get impacted at that point, maybe, and we're starting to notice that it's the mountain, especially like if I think of Skagway, like you got such a narrow valley and this big mountain behind it that you start to lose out on some of the daylight. So that could have something to do with it. And what month are we on? August. August. Shaheyidisi. We get into uh, September. Disyedi, which is a child moon. And then October. Disclaim. And it's funny, like, uh, okay, so here we go. Shitch, shitch, disi would be a female uh, marmot month. That's interesting. Hmm. October is disclaim, big month. I think it has to do with big tides as well. Kokaha dis is. Um, burrowing month so it refers to animals burrowing into their dens and making new dens shanach dis is december and that's uh shanach is through the head but it's also a valley so it could be either one it's hard to tell because the sha could be mountain and then nach is along the mountain or through the mountain and then sha, if you attach a suffix to it, it will also push it long and low. So you could say, uh, sha nach awa, sha nach awa It blew through my head like the wind or something. I don't know how that would happen. But Benachish for sharing those months. So let's take a look uh, at some hunting terms and fishing and tides. And I think the way that we'll do this is we'll just say them a few times. If you have any questions, ask them. If there's things you're noticing, point them out. Uh, it does say at the beginning of this section, so you can say, Janwu chun gach tu ad. Janwu chun gach tu ad. But you get this paragraph afterwards that said, like, Long time ago, people did not talk about what they were going to go hunt. They would usually have some sort of code. Like they might say, Sekanen gwach sha shaki gach tu at. And you know, wink, 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 like maybe tomorrow we'll go walk on the mountaintops. Because you're not supposed to talk about going to hunt something. Because the, the way it was explained to me,
So everything on the land understands Shingit. And if you talk about wanting to go kill them, they'll run away from you. I think there's also potentially a disrespect that could happen in Shingit Tundatani, talking about going to hunt something. I also think that you might be sort of bragging and assuming that you're going to go get it. So because of that, a lot of the times these were, but it, it's interesting to me too, because I hear like this is the real old time way of thinking of it was you didn't really talk about it, especially as you're getting closer to actually going to do that. You might talk about it afterwards, but you know, those were just some things that I was, it was explained to me that way. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you folks that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll do the English. If it's, someone wants to, we'll take turns doing the shingit. Is it a black bear you shot? So can someone tell me how to say, is it a moose that you shot? You, you can substitute right there the noun. So un is you shot. Next one. They went seal hunting. So you don't have to have a day on there. There are certain nouns, like hunting, dancing, working, where you could just say that thing and then the motion verb and it, we just they went to do that thing. They went berry picking. And same thing here. So the other thing is you can substitute, you know, again, they went hunting geese. I like caribou meat. What see ye? Away, ach tuasugu. Okay, so there's your pattern for things you like. Is ach tuasugu. Gli is the meat of something. Gli is a muscle. And this is really interesting because, like you know, when my daughter was probably four, she said, "What's under your skin?" I said, glee. She said, meat? It's like, ah, <laughs> like, I guess so. It's like, we don't, we don't differentiate and think it between, you know, you don't really say, I think I'll have some cow muscle tonight, <laughs> right? As far as English, but that's what you do and, and think it. A brown bear is walking over there. Who hasn't gone yet? Who's you? Yeah, look good. Ish. So there's that brown bear. You is over there, way over there. Yeah, look good. It's walking. Okay, dear. That's very short. I'll do that one. Okay. So the next page. My father shot a deer. Sheesh. Um, so again, you can substitute, you can say, Ach, klar, this our un. Right, so you get there's again, like as we learn these phrases, we spot the places we can substitute things a kinship term, the noun, 
They shot it. My uncle shot two deer. Achsane dech bukan al un. Sheesh. So then this shows you another pattern. What if they got four? What if they got three? What if they, you know, like, those, so you just change the number. Then you could change the noun as well. So you could say, ach aunt, dach un gach awa un. What is that? Ach aunt, dach un gach awa un. Ducks? Mm hmm. My paternal aunt um, shot four ducks. My paternal aunt shot four ducks. Ya achsani dakun gach awa un taik at katetin. Kakuzi. My uncle shot four ducks with one bullet. Okay. Did you go hunting? Gay, good. Sheesh. I went hunting. Ashun hua good. Did y'all go hunting? Ashun gay. Ye ye at Cheesh Ashunke ye at. We went hunting. At un watua at. Okay, yeah, well. And how would you change one of these to fishing? What if I say, did you go fishing? Fishing how? A steak. <laughs> generally, generally. Or I can say Did you go dancing? Did you go to work? Right? My father went hunting. Sorry. <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay. Ach ish at un wugud. Okay. We went hunting together. Ush in ach slun wutua at. Gunchish, okay. What did they get? Or what did they kill? So what's the uh, noun there? I mean, the verb there? Our uh, chuck is they killed it. They killed. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they, what's interesting too is like, even though like we're careful about how we talk about hunting, they would call it their kills. So you would say, um, that's, that's my kill right there. Like I killed it. And so that becomes sort of a noun as well. Uh, but yeah, that jak, that verb root right there is to kill something. Jak. A single thing. Like if you killed like six, you'd have to use a different verb. With one bullet. Okay. With one bullet. The story out of Yakutat. So like, yeah. we'll look at that. I think, did we look at that around Thanksgiving, I think? Yeah, well, with the, yeah, he shot multiple. I know hey. when you cut, when you would shoot an animal, like get a deer, you would become the town hero, especially if you gave it out. Everybody talked about it. Yeah, okay. But be your kill as versus creating bad luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, wow. They got a deer. 
or they killed a deer. Wakan our Jack and Cheech. What did you get or what did you kill? Also what? He a jock. Cheech. I got a deer. Wakan Huajak. Sheesh. What did they shoot? Dasawe. Awa un. Okay. We'll keep that um, verb root short though. Dasawe awa un. Okay. They shot a deer. Wakan awa un. What did you shoot? I shot it. I shot him. Well, I won't change. I shot a deer. I was going to say Marvin. I shot a deer. I'm going to say the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> watch one. I guess it would be watch one. Jeez. What did you all get or what did you all kill? That's the way ye jock. Jeez. We killed a deer. Go a con. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go a con with a would a jack to a jack uh -huh. if you said would do a jack it would be a deer was killed mm. what did y'all shoot that's away ye on we shot a deer Sheesh. So as we go back and look through this, we'll see Hwa, Yi, Watua, Wu, Awa, Iya, Hwa. Just like keep an eye on those patterns. We'll eat deer meat tonight. Okay. We almost got in trouble one time because we were joking. It said we want to say we'll eat hot dogs tonight. And we say yet yet I cake kachtecha yachana, and the elders got mad at us. They said no, it's not a hot dog. Literally, it's a nasi. You call it a nasi? Okay. But we were trying to be silly. So. Can you say, Yachana Shakunt, Katuka, or E Horns Night if it's a skinny buck? How about this morning we'll eat ham? Not I'll invite my older brother. A hunk to ye choir. Sheesh. So, this is the verb to invite people. 
Uh, it's where the word pu'ich comes from. There were a lot of salmon there. Uh, Sheesh. So the ah uh is the there part. This is going to pop up all the time in Klinget. Once they name a place, they'll switch it to ah. Ah ye ye ti janmu. Skagwe. They are there. Janmu. Is this one where the order can change? Can it go ah ha muge? Or is it always muge ha? Uh, I think you would need an awe. Ah awe ha muge. I think that would work. Ah muge ha. Yeah, I think if you move that, you would have to put an awe in between ah and ha. Are there a lot of salmon there? Okay. So this yage is an interesting word because it can mean big and it can mean many. But it couldn't mean a big living thing. So we know that it's many. Kune, wow. could you pronounce that? I see all those high tones. I'm just curious how that would sound. Speaking of high tones, look at the next one. Are there any salmon there? Okay. <laughs> so speaking of ah, if you put w on the end, you do get abu located there. That okay. Why does it, or when does gay become a gay? Usually it's ge if the word before it ends with a vowel, and it's a ge if the word before it ends with a consonant. Mm. But in the next one, it ends in a consonant. <laughs> Usually. I, I ask because I've, I've had this question since the last big group when we were talking about right. knowing and understanding. And if you were to ask somebody, do you, uh, do you understand idaya kushus ge age? Mm -hmm. So you'd put the A in there so it's not ge ge. Oh, right, right. <clears throat> yeah, so I guess let's see. Khat ge awua. I think it works fine. Kadutan age khat. Kadutan ge khat. I guess if you don't have it, you do have to have a little bit more of a pause. So I, I don't think, I think that's kind of the guideline, but I also think you'll just see it pop up all the time. That's a, that's a good question. I would say generally the pattern is ge after vowel, ge after consonant, but then you, it blasts our theory out of the water immediately. But in that one where, like, Kushusuke. Yeah. It would sound weird. To me, it sounds weird to say Kushusuke gay. Right. So I would want to put a gay. Yeah, for that, you'd probably put even a tiny pause and then a gay. Okay. Are there salmon jumping? And a cheese. The other version. Hot tane again. Oh, ah, ah. Cheese. 
So Wutan is usually how you would say this, or Wutan, or Uwatan, maybe, in the singular. However, I don't think this verb is used in Teslin, which is interesting, because the fish jump up there, but when we were asking up there, um, class. I'm gonna go check the mail. Jacane, which is wild, because that's kind of like how a thing jumps on the land for here. And this is where Katutan Kahiti is the name of that house where Raven found all the salmon. The fish are here. Ya do hot. Ya do hot. There are still some. Uh, uh, wo, uh. Uh, cha, uh, wo, uh. Uh, So this, ah uh, is uh. some. So here's yet another pronoun to add to your list of pronouns. Because you uh. could say, khwa, ha, I ate it. Ah, uh, ha, ah, uh, ha, like, ah, uh, khwa, ha. I ate some. So that's how you could say I ate it, but I didn't eat it all. No. Uh, oh. There's nothing here. Keshda Sahyat. So Yat is what you should expect when yadu goes negative. Uh, so you shouldn't be saying kesh yadu or kesh weidu. You say kesh yat, kesh weit. For example, if I was asking, where's Gusu Elmo? And if Elmo is right there, you might say yadu hu. But how would you say they are not here? What would the negative of ya do hu be? Kesh yat yat hu. Kesh yat hu. Right? So that's how you could say they are not here. Kesh yat hu. Kune. Oh. Did you, is that de in ya de? Is that supposed to be the wu? That wu that you use when you don't have a verb, and so then when it's in the negative, you can't. Is that the same thing? It is. It does a weird thing where it's yacht plus wu, and for some, you you usually can't have two suffixes, but that construction does, and so there could be something here with this yacht where the t just sort of sometimes gets just embedded on there. Sort of like when you say da sa, if anything pops in between da and sa, it turns into dot. So, for example, we might say, What is more than dot ya nach sa? What is less than dot kin sa? What do you need? Dot iti nach sa iti. So, in this case, yat is here and you can add wu on there and that's how you get ya du just combines into du but when that u falls off which means to be located somewhere it switches back to ya okay uh Let's see, we might, these are very cool, but I know we were talking about tides, so we might jump ahead to tides, if that's okay. Okay. The tide is going down. Yay, Yeah, Yeah, away. Yay, so a couple things about this is the verb root is sha, 
which is to melt. So the tide melts. There's also, like, you've probably heard, ya nagut, right? Ya anasquain. There are verbs that get this ya na pattern when it's in the process of happening. If that verb is a ga conjugation, instead of ya, you'll have k. K na kain. It's getting better. K ha na seen. We're getting stronger. If it's ka conjugation, it will be ye, just like this one. Ye na thing. Ye undergun. Une? Ah. So that's the tide is going down. Is the tide that's going, is coming up k na da na dain? It's dark. Nadine. But this is says it as the tide is coming in. Mm -hmm. So is there a difference in Klingit between coming in and coming up? So what it's doing, like grammatically, the tide is going down, it's melting downward. For the tide to come up, it's flowing towards the inlet. That's why you get dark in front of it. Nadine comes from you know, wuda. And is the yun the completion? Yun is completion. So one of the theories is that yun is the shore from the ocean, and yun is also to completion. So going back to the eating example, um, can I just type on this thing? Let me try. I haven't done this before. So I said, uh, which was I ate it. And then I said, Oops. I ate some. I've never done this before, so. Can I move this thing? Okay. Then I can also say, Yan Huacha. I finished eating. So all of those things are using the exact same form, like that hua ha hasn't changed. And there's you can do one more, at hua ha would be I ate. Oops. So all those can become, they can come from that exact same verb. You're just putting a ah in front of it for some, yun for to completion, and at for something. Hey, I'm curious why um, a thing well uh, uh, would would do a ga is not in there. Yeah, so we don't really see would do a ga for there to be sort of a. I think probably because they're just thinking about like food gathering is sort of what this chapter is, oh. and like at the the sort of high slack tide, you don't really. You know, this is when the table is set. So you'd say, Yan no la Let's go get clams, let's go get seaweed, let's go get cockles, let's go get the knees, let's go get it all and eat it. Good questions. Good questions. Uh yach dak uada that does come from a raven story. So it's the tide is in or out. To half of a person. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, yen na shen, or sorry, ye na shen, yen u washa, dak te ya wada, dak na den, yen kat u wada. Then you would have would do waga, and that's sort of your your whole tide process, right? And those are important because it's food gathering and it's also traveling. So what they told us is when they had Kuik, they would send someone out and they'd say something like, What's the tide like? And they'd go outside and if the Kuik wasn't done, 
they'd come back and they'd say, Yanu washa, the tide's out. So everybody's got to stay at the Qu'iq for a while. But when the Qu'iq was wrapping up and they did want people to leave, they'd say, Yan kat uwada. And then everybody knew it was time to load up the boats and head on out. Which we'll do now. Okay. Ah. There's Yan uwafa for the tide is down and Yan kat uwada for the tide has come up. Can you say Yan kat uwafa or Yan uwada? You could say Yan uwada. I don't think you could say Yan kat uwasha because it sounds like the tide has gone out onto it. Oh, cut. Yeah. So I think here you got yen cut like up onto the shore. Okay, gonna chi shuhan. Reminder, super class. We're gonna do this story tomorrow. So we're gonna we're gonna look at a bunch of silly little pictures. There's no English on it, so we have to come up with a narrative, and then we're gonna collaborate and translate little bits of it. Uh, and we might come up with multiple versions, but it's just sort of a fun activity just to break the mold a little bit. We'll also be sharing ideas on how to use the language in your everyday life. Uh, mm -hmm. There were some students in advanced Klingit who saw what we did with the prayer last week and really enjoyed it. And so we'll talk about prayers, we'll talk about using the language on a day-to-day -day basis, staying motivated and staying, I, th I think we could call it at this phase, staying motivated while dog paddling so, <laughs> for your life. <laughs> Yende, Yende na yantehain. There we go. We're dog paddling to the shore. Goodness cheese, Johan. Goodness cheese. Goodness cheese. Goodness cheese. Goodness cheese. Oh.